Hi guys, welcome to the Baird Homestead. Um, I hope you have been following and enjoying the videos we've done with Peter Thomas when he was here on his uh, two week vacation. Um, we had some really good fun. Um, so today we're going to be making some um, raccoon and deer sausage. We recently harvested a deer on the property and also um, a raccoon that was causing a few problems. So I'll just run through the ingredients here. We have uh, roughly about two pound of deer um, meat which I have ground and I have two hind legs of a raccoon which I haven't yet ground which is my next step. I have one cup of organic oats, um, that's just to add a little bit of extra to the sausage and to give it a little bit of bulk. I have half a cup of wild apple puree, um, the apples were picked just on our property. I have one teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of white pepper, um, I may adjust the seasonings later. We have two medium onions, just roughly sliced up. We have four cloves of garlic. We have some dried bolit mushrooms that were picked locally and also when we were on vacation in Cape Breton. We have two tablespoons of, excuse the camera work, of sweet fern. We have one and a half tablespoons of goldenrod flour. We have one heaped teaspoon of yarrow leaves. These are all dried. And we have one teaspoon of sheep sorrel. All of which were harvested locally. Um, in fact they all grow on our property. So I'm going to get on mixing all of this together. Um, and then we will get back to you. So I am just about to put the grinder all together to grind up the raccoon leg meat. Um, I just wanted to run through the grinder process. So we will put the meat through the largest plate first because some of the meat contains sinew. Um, and if you try and do it on one of the smaller ones initially, um, it just gets clogged up and it, it's just a horrible, horrible mess. So we will do that plate first. Um, and then we move on to this smaller plate. This is usually um, for ground burger meat. Um, but we're going to be making sausages. I've already done the burger meat. So then when we've done this guy, we will be using the last plate which is the the smallest holes and that gives a finer ground which is great for sausages so we will get this put together and i will see you in a bit so we have finished um grinding all the meat and we've added all the ingredients that we went through um, and I have mixed that up so that's going to now sit in the fridge uh, for a few hours just for the flavours to um, all mix in but yesterday we did this um, sausage which is just some um, this is all deer meat um, there is about four pound of deer meat in here um, I also have added, these are a smoked paprika and fennel, or they will be a uh, smoked paprika and fennel sausage. So we have one and a half cups of oats, four pound of deer meat, one cup of red onions chopped, four cloves of garlic, one and a half teaspoons of white pepper, two teaspoons of salt, two and a half tablespoons of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of fennel seeds and one teaspoon of celery seeds. Um, I will put those um, ingredient lists down for you. So this was made yesterday, so this is ready to be put through, um, I'll just scoot you over here, to be put through the last of the plates, which is the sausage plate. So I shall put the raccoon and deer sausage in the fridge, 
and I will get on putting this through the sausage plate and I will show you the end result. Right, we have uh, put all of that meat now through the sausage grinder and last minute I decided to add some um, wild choke cherry syrup that was, well it needs using up from, from last year. So I've put about three good dessert spoonfuls of the choke cherry syrup in there. I'll just move it around so you can see. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're just going to go in with the gloves and we're just going to mix that up really, really well. And it can go back in the fridge. I'm also, as I have the sausage grind on, I'm just going to put that raccoon and deer meat through. And then we're all ready to go to start making the sausages. So here are the finished product. We spared you the loud noise of the sausage making machine. This is the casings we used. We used large and small. These are the raccoon sausages with deer meat and these are the deer meat ones. Look, and we'll put them in the fridge, let them settle a bit and then we'll package them all up. Yummy!